Hello, hello, hello. I hope you have your sippy cup of iced coffee and you are ready to dive into some data studio nerdiness. So um, we're gonna talk about field IDs, how to use them, when to use them. Maybe it might be a better option than pulling your hair out with trying to blend something together. We're gonna hop into it. But first, make sure that you have, wherever my little button is over here, is the cheat sheet, right? We got seven optimization points that I use personally whenever I hit publish on a new Data Studio dashboard. Uh, you can head over datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube um, where you can download your free version of that and get lots of updates about the lovely ecosystem of Data Studio. All right, so now let's just hop right into it and I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So first thing we are gonna talk about is how in the world this is gonna work. So imagine for an instant, and I wanna give you plenty of examples, um, that we have here is um, our CRM data, right? And our CRM happens to be smart, maybe it's like you're using Marketo or Infusionsoft or something like that, and you happen to have the source, right? And you happen to have like the medium, which is also known as the type medium, AKA type of lead, right? And then you also have, oopsies, you also have your Google Analytics data, which also happens to have source of traffic and the type or medium, oopsies, of traffic. And you, in your infinite wisdom, because we were all infinitely wise, and you wanted to have a simple little drop down that was saying source select with a little arrow down, oopsies, with a little arrow down here and that you can select to then pick the source you'd like to filter. Problem is, is that the filters are tied to a data source. So this is just gonna fil filter your Google Analytics data, but it's not gonna filter your CRM data. I know, I know, I'm also marred. So if you wanted to filter both of these, you could you have two options, right? We could blend them, which is boring, and you're probably gonna be stressed because you have probably are using like an outer join instead of a left join or something. Or option number two is what we can do is that we can create a new field ID. So now I know you're like, what the heck is a field ID, JJ? So every single dimension within any data source has a field ID. I know, crazy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this. So the same field ID, so source of lead over here is gonna be field ID one, two, three. And over here, we're gonna make the field ID of this one, one, two, three, and perform any data manipulation we need to. And then we're gonna have a single source right here and we're gonna select it. So that is the power of field IDs. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna hop into it. So here, um, let me just show you the screen. This is all fake data, 100% fake, because I bought it off the internet as a fake dummy test. All these are not real names, not real zip codes, not, not real locations. So here we've got our CRM information with the source of traffic and the type of traffic, right? So Facebook here, CPC, et cetera. Now, what we wanna do is we have our lovely Data Studio dashboard. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just basically build two charts. So here we're gonna have chart one with our Google Analytics data. So this is just the master data set from Google Analytics, which we run to add in our source. And let's just add in like, I don't know, uh, page because, or let's just use goal completion so that it looks like we're actually doing something. Boom. Then, scratch that, we're gonna use page views. <laughs> this is the beauty of doing something on the fly. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to this Google Sheet. So I already did that ahead of time because I wanted to save you the time of me having to connect it, but uh, that is all we're gonna do. So here is our email list of 100% fake data, which is gonna be broken because it doesn't work. And now you can see here, we have the source of traffic, boom. Why is it not working? All right, I guess you're gonna see me connect it live. So we're gonna add data, 
click to connect to Google Sheet, select this. We're gonna select that active campaign fake demo email. And then we're gonna wait a hot sec. So if you have any uh, like questions about this, this is basically what we're gonna do, right? We're connecting these two together so that this one filter can then select both of these just so you're on the same page. All right, that seemed to work. So now let me just add in a new chart. We're gonna swap it over to our new data set. Now I've got a bajillion of the same names and hopefully this works. All right, so here you can see first name, source, and then we're just gonna use, uh, actually we don't need anything. Let's just use record count just to Add, add a metric in. So now, if we wanted to say, and I'll just kind of demo it for you, if we're gonna add a control with a, let's see, a drop down list, right now you can see that if we have this, Google Partners, boom, problem, right? You can see how that's gonna be a little bit of a problem here because it doesn't filter both, right? What if we wanted to have both there? That would be what we wanna do. So how we can solve that problem is just like this is we, as our Data Studio builds, right, what we can do is we can simply create a new field that has the same field ID. And I'm like, where are these field ideas? You keep talking about them, I don't know, but that is what we're gonna do right now. So if you go into your data set and you hit edit, every single one has a field ID, but it doesn't, it doesn't show you. So I'm gonna create a new field, and right here, boom, field ID. You can edit it to be whatever you'd like to. Um, you can only have a letters, numbers, hyphens, and underscores, so keep that in mind. But what I'm gonna do is come over here to our Google Analytics data set, and we're gonna look for our source. Do, which is right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create a new field, and we're gonna call this source hyphen C. So I like to do this because I like to have it clean and I'll just put in our source right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it as source clean as the field ID. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit save. Um, actually, before I hit save, I'm gonna show you something is that what I normally will do is we'll actually add in any manipulations that are needed. For example, let's just say we want to always have it lowercase. We can then lowercase that source right there. Bada bing, bada boom, we now have a new thing with source clean as the field ID. So now the source C is the field name and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on over here and go into our demo account and we're gonna add a new field. Same exact thing, we're gonna try, again, source of traffic. And I'm gonna also add lower, just in case you know, you, might, you never know what happens when your CRM data gets imported or exported. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply pop up here, we're gonna source C. So we know that they're both the clean sources. Hit save, hit done. Now what you can do is come up here to the source and we're gonna actually grab our source clean. And now watch this. Let me just hit reset. And we're gonna filter this to be just Google. And now, you'll see that we just have a Google traffic. Are you not shook right now? So that is basically it, guys. I know I probably buried the lead in this one and put the answer to your question at the very, very end, but I wanted to show you what field IDs were, how they kind of like, at least you can use them. So just to recap, right? We're gonna take this back out to our drawing board, which is right back over here. What we had to do to do this is take our data sources data source, we then had to take that and we had to create a new field. So we have our fields. Which is a new field with a custom field ID. We then have a data source two over here which is this, with a new field with the exact same custom field ID. And then now, because of that, what we can actually do is we can use this select source to affect both of 
these data sources. So now you can come in here, you can hit Google. If you select one that doesn't exist, it'll just return as if there was nothing, which technically there is. And so now what you can have is a beautiful data studio report with only one little filter, right? So I hope that's helpful. I hope that makes some sense. I will talk to you guys in the next video. And if you have not, download this cheat sheet. It's super helpful. And you can hit reply to any of the emails that you get from here, me here on out. And I will let you get back to building some awesome dashboards inside of Data Studio.